Hi Aries, it's Sloan Rhodes here. I wanted to do a quick monthly reading for all signs, starting with you. So for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, this is for the month of January 2020. It's just going to be a quick reading as we take a peek at the month. I'm drawing one oracle card from the Enchanted Map deck by Colette Baron reed as we look at the overarching theme for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising for the month of January 2020. If you haven't had a chance to look at the Life, Purpose, Career, and Money readings, I do have those up for each sign as well. And I also have that my sale is still going on at the Sloan Academy, 60% off all of my online courses. So uh, there are links below if you're interested in that. Okay, here we go. Education. Interesting. We have Talisman under the deck, number 49. A sense of protection. And the overarching theme, education. Well, I mean, we can take it literally, right? We can say for, you know, for January, for 2020, that there is a focus on education for the Aries individuals. Could be, of course, that you are a teacher or you are a student of some kind in an actual uh, university or college. But even more deeply than that, Aries, it's about kind of taking stock of what you've learned and where you are thus far in your in your life, in your experience um, here upon planet Earth. What have you learned? You know? It just it makes sense too with the new year starting, new calendar year. Sometimes, you know, we are in a place of reflection. Um, and in January this may continue. You know, you may still be in this place of reflection. You know, she's really looking at the book, right? And she's very intently staring at it. But when you consider where you're at, when you consider what you have learned about life, about yourself, as you go through the month, are you looking at what you've learned with a sense of judgment? Or are you looking at the joyous moments, right? We see this, this like fairy and all this light, but look at the, the woman who's looking at it. She looks very serious. And so when you are moving through the month, Aries, I would encourage you to look for the places that you have gained knowledge and wisdom and where you have learned from others and where it makes your heart uh, sing, where it makes you feel excited, where you are kind of polishing areas within self or areas within your life in a way that feels good to you. Because a lot of times when we get in a reflective place, sometimes we can have a lot of judgment for where we've been or where we think we should be. And here, with that beautiful fairy popping up here, all this light, you know, look at it if you can, when you can, um, about what you've learned with that air of wonderment, with a gentle sweetness, with the eyes of a child, you know, um, curious and fascinated by what you have learned and what you have been able to, to teach others and what you have learned from others. Do your best to be if not joyful, <laughs> you know, about what you have learned, at least neutral. There's a neutrality here as we look at her as well. You know, she's very serious, but I also kind of feel like there is uh, an opportunity for this neutrality to come in. And the neutrality sometimes doesn't feel good um, because we're used to the peaks and the valleys. But the neutrality that you may be experiencing in the month of January allows you to be more open to wonderment, curiosity, fascination for what's, what you've learned, what's your, what you're continuing to learn, um, what you're teaching others, and where you may possibly be going. So there's a lot of wonderful um, messages here for you. Again, we can look at it literally, you know, it may be that you are focused on education uh, in a more traditional type of schooling environment. It may be too that you are just being encouraged to kind of go and seek out um, classes and seminars, this kind of thing. Um, but even more than that, 
What have you learned? What are you learning? And where can you look at what you're learning without the self-judgment or judgment of others? You know, a lot of times when we, even when we seek out education, we tend to put um, more weight on the educators than on ourselves, as if they know everything. <laughs> you know, uh, they don't. They are teaching from their own experience and their own understanding. But you may have new experiences and new understandings and new consciousness, which changes the way you um, uh, are understanding and integrating what they are teaching. So, you know, maybe even a clash of consciousness and, and, and ideals in the educational system. So, something to think about here. Okay, Aries, I hope that you find that helpful. I wish you much love as always, and I will see you on the next video or at your private appointment. There are links um, here to my website where you can book an appointment. And also to let you know that all of these YouTube videos are available on the audio podcast, the Sloan Roads podcast, and uh, so you can listen to them when you're driving or whatever. All right, much love.